What's well, everyone? So we are going to be playing some ESO and we are going to be checking out the PTS for the Dark Heart of Skyrim. Uh, so completely this is definitely a spoiler uh, type video. So um, this e these are actually my NA characters, not all of them. Um, don't know why but anyway it's kind of besides the point. Um, so down here we still have the name change, race change and appearance. Uh, but there is the alliance change and I'm <laughs> so it is actually like here which I'm kind of peeved about because I like hello class change <laughs> when it's probably been like the next one and they'll just like drag it out or whatever but I feel like alliance change is just something that like for me it's a throwaway uh, I would have so much preferred a, a class change anyway so we're gonna log in Okay, so my reward. Okay, so we have the alliance. Oh my god, you get a little pocket mammoth non-combat pet. Oh, new houses. Yeah, okay, so we'll check it all out. We'll check the houses and stuff like that as well. Ooh, this is actually cool. Oh, that's a big one. I wonder actually how much that will genuinely cost it. I'm just going to buy everything. Uh, just because this is PTS, it doesn't count and everything is one crown like I wish everything was one crown just like in general because that would be so cool so this uh furnishing bundle vampire 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 I can't read anyway sorry let's just have a look so you get the uh, you get a basin and you get this guy which is actually kind of cool I like that because you can get the in like the crown store furnishings when you go into a house you can buy like a soul shriven which is awesome um so yeah there is that okay so you get the pre-order bonuses as well um so you get some treasure maps and the scrolls my pre-order bonus uh i got the crates and the scrolls i didn't get the pet or anything i just didn't see a point in it um but that's just me. It was like an extra tenner for just a pet and a mount, which <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't fathom. But these, um, okay, so those are actually kind of cool. So the new crates, uh, like I said, are called, I didn't say, but they are called uh, Nightfall. So the crates, I don't think they're actually in here at the moment. No, okay, which is fine. Um, but yeah. The new crates that will come out with uh, it are Nightfall. So let's have a look on the map and see whereabouts. Oh, we're going up here. Western Skyrim. Oh, a new trial as well. Nice. Oh, this place looks so freaking awesome. What is that? Oh, and then you've got... Oh, wow. Okay. So the caverns are actually pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty big. I won't um i don't think i will take like a full walk around i think i'll wait until it's actually fully out but it does just from like that part of the map which is such a weird thing to say looks very nice uh let's just have a quick look through um the store so we looked at that so the alliance change this token can be used only on the character select screen uh same as anything else no, after use um, this token allows you to change the alliance of one of your characters. Class change would have been so much better. Uh, so we've got that, and we have two houses here. Are they actually on the map here? They're not. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Um, furniture. Non-combat pets. Oh yeah, that guy is actually in at the moment. Sorry. I'm just like flitting around all over the place. Okay, so classic homes. Let's have a look at this one first and then I'll just go in and have like a tiny, tiny look around the map. Just like a small little glimpse because I don't want to spoil it either like very much for myself. So I definitely will not be doing like any quests or anything like that until it's actually out, out in May. Uh, so this is what one is this where is this oh okay so this is actually inside this map um wow okay this actually looks kind of cool actually looks kind of cool let's have a look at it 
Okay, so unfurnished, it costs just over a million. I apologize if you hear things banging in the background of people again. <laughs> okay, so unfurnished costs a million, and then furnished, you can normally only ever buy with crowns. So if it costs a million, I'm going to say maybe about 8,000 crowns, possibly, if you want it furnished. Um, We'll have a look at it. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll have a look at it. Uh, unfurnished and then we'll have a look at it furnished so I guess it doesn't have a sort of garden of any sort but the inside of this is actually very nice I feel like I don't know I'm getting kind of really fussy with the houses that I want oh it's got a little patio and then we can leave the home okay um let's go downstairs first oh this is actually be like a really really cool like a guild house this would be really awesome for a guild house Okay, and then there's a leave home there. So it seems to be like there's two entrances too. Okay, so this is the upstairs. Um, it randomly comes from a nightstand, okay. Um, yeah, I feel like they should definitely... I mean, I don't know. Let me just... Uh, yeah, okay. I think I might buy the house in a minute. I really want them to up the furnishing space and collectible stuff for furnishing and stuff like that because they're bringing out the antiquities thing which is like you can go around and it's kind of like fossil hunting i think i don't really know i haven't looked very much into it but pretty much you can get like furnishings you can get um oh what are they called you can get like not outfit styles what the heck are they called outfit like sets uh kind of like uh these I think but it's like certain ones or whatever I don't know it's something like that like I said I haven't looked very much into it so yeah this is the upstairs it's quite nice I just want to have a look on the patio area because I always like the houses that actually have an outdoor area to them okay okay it's not too bad, it's not too bad. I wonder if you could build like a plank up there. I don't know, I like to like build out of bounds. So let's have a look at it furnished. Um, Yeah, I tell you what, we're actually gonna buy it furnished. Um, So we'll leave that right. So, okay, so the furnishings, there seems to be some new furnishings that we're going to get. I think a lot of them, these rugs, I actually really quite like. These stools, I quite like as well. Can we sit on them? Wow, they are giant compared to my Bosma. That sucks, kind of. Oh, have they moved the... Oh, okay, sorry, I had to turn off the surface drag. Okay, so these ones don't look as if they're, like, sittable. Whereas this one is sittable. That sucks! Fancy making chairs like that that you can't sit on. Imagine how cute she'd look just, like, perched up on that chair. Oh, and I can't even do that. Okay, anyway. So the bin looks new. Actually, a lot of this stuff looks pretty new and pretty nice. To oh my god, it sucks so much. What's the point in having the chairs if you can't sit on them? Pet peeve already. <laughs> Pet peeve already. I mean, at least we could sit on these. Um, that's a really nice painting, actually. Um, yeah, so all of this stuff here looks pretty new as well. Oh my god, she looks so tiny. Yeah, okay. Super pet peeve at the moment that you cannot sit on these when you should technically be able to as they are a seat. Um, the paintings are really, really nice. Uh, I like that lantern as well. So let's have a look down the stairs to see what they put in here if you buy it furnished. This is how the house will come if you buy it with the crowns uh, furnished, by the way. Oh, that's a new painting. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Um, can we sit in these chairs? Yeah, okay, so we can at least sit in those ones. Um, can we leave this? Okay, yeah, leave it home like that. Uh, this painting over here as well. It looks like those are new. New, like, little fish things. I don't know. Um, I don't know a lot of the furnishings because I don't normally get a lot of the stuff. I think I've only ever bought one or two furnishings from the actual, like, crown store area um these new beds do not like but they definitely are nord-esque uh so the crown area that i'm on about is like this in like the place furniture area so this house 
Um, I think it is taking into consideration my ESO plus, in which case without ESO plus this house would be 300 furnishing spaces, um, but with ESO plus you get 600. Uh, special, again only 8, which fucking sucks. Collectible furnishings, only 40, this is with ESO plus. And special collectibles, which is mounts, combat pets, stuff like that, uh, non-combat pets, sorry, is only 8. So without ESO plus there's only four that is crazy and this is my NA character I have so many more mounts and non-combat pets on EU um but still I have 23 mounts and 45 non-combat pets here and you mean I've got to choose eight of them way to go way to go <laughs> um so oh what's this okay yeah anyway uh Munderstones I don't think there's anything in there is there anything new like in here normally they have like new next to them if there's oh okay so that's new oh that's not too bad oh i really like this stuff i'm in the process slowly very slowly because i spent all my gold in it on na i am building a larger forest you guys haven't seen my tour for the forest on eu yet it's going up after this video at some point um but uh yeah oh those are so so nice oh those are so so nice oh i love that i love that so so much oh yay they would look so pretty in like a little forest area Okay, um, yeah, anyway, where was I? This video is very mismatched, I apologise. Um, nothing new in there. So yeah, anything through here that has, like, new on it like this is new stuff. Normally, I think they're probably about 10 crowns each or what. I wish they would have in brackets by the side of them, like, how much they are actually going to be, um like you know when the when it's fully like done and out well that's a nice little tree so we've got some snow trees here oh that's nice i might honestly have to dive into this for oh okay that's nice yeah i might actually have to dive into this for my forest <laughs> that i'm doing so do we have any more courtyard things oh vampiric Oh, okay, so there's like a column. I don't really care too much for that. Um, nothing new there. Vehicles, nope. Wells, nope. Yard ornaments. Okay, so there's this like little uh, basin trough thing for your animals to drink. One thing I do want to do is... Okay, I want to do that, but let's actually go outside and see what furnishings come with the outside if you buy this house fully furnished okay so pretty basic uh pretty basic pretty nice but what i do want to see is how big whoa this thing's actually really big so that's what that looks like oh shit that's so cool wow okay that's awesome i love that so we can have him like you know just like normal we can have him off we can have him red with bats round. That is sick. That's so cool. Oh, I love that. And then we can have him like super doom and gloom, which I absolutely love that version. Oh, that is nice. I might actually uh, put him away and put uh, put him in like the other house. I don't know. I'm probably not actually going to buy it. So dining room items oh, okay so there's a bunch it's just the stuff that you see when you buy uh this house very like wooden and kind of like handmade type stuff i guess this one is very nice oh that one's cool as well very vampire-esque given the name and all that kind of stuff i do like these corner um those corner things and then just some more uh, stuff like that. So I don't know. Display. Oh yes, this is what I wanted. These paintings are so nice. These ones? Oh yeah. Okay. I think I definitely, one of the things I definitely like to do in the homes 
is a lot of paintings and I definitely like that one. Oh my god, I love that one. Oh wow, oh that one's so nice. Okay, these paintings definitely, oh that one's super nice. Yeah, these paintings for me are definitely, definitely nice, especially this one. We're putting this one up right now, it's like jellified and I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so the paintings are definitely, definitely get a props from me because I like those so, 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 so much. Um, then we had, okay, yeah, just done that one. Thrones? No more thrones? That's weird. I thought there would be. Um, oh, that is a cute little basket. So we have some baskets and rucksacks, uh, stuff like that, bread bin uh, little bread loaves I love that oh I wonder if the food that we saw on the table during the um, what do you call it the like prologue will actually be in here I don't oh that like frothy beer mug frothy frothy beer mug oh that's cool I must not have even looked in here from like the elsewhere ones I don't use it like at all. Um, okay, so it doesn't look like that beer is in here at all. I would have thought that would have been with like cookware. Oh no, drinkware maybe. Oh wow, they actually gave you the cup but they didn't put the beer in it? Oh that's sad. <laughs> Wait, no. I like those vampire ones though. Apologies for the doggos. But we have like... Oh yes, the food. I wonder if that horrible like sausage looking- Oh yeah, the horrible sausages are here. Oh actually, no, that actually looks quite nice. Eggs, bacon, a plate full of- just a plate full of eggs. Okay, I like- I like those food. I think it's a shame that we don't have the frothy beer. Uh, the fish ones are kind of gross. The shivering cheese, I definitely need that because it's like- I don't know, I just like that one. <laughs> Uh, we have some parts, produce, oh my god, how cute! Oh, how cute. Let me, let me put this down. Oh, how adorable does that look? Little mushrooms. And then we have, oh, we have berries. Oh, those are cute. Those are, oh, new produce stand. Sweet. Oh yeah, that is new, that little fishy, <laughs> that little fishy thing is is new any more utensils no library um okay so we have a new desk the vamp oh that's very regal and royal even for a vampire uh daedric shelves oh, okay so we have a bunch new uh bookshelves i always like to have the ones that already have books on them because not only does it save furniture space um because otherwise stocking it yourself you're gonna waste so much space so there's quite a few new oh the vampire ones are very nice actually i do quite like those yeah i like the vampire ones a lot so lighting is something that i'm actually interested in as well um i tell you what um i tell you what i actually might do this house doesn't have an awful lot of space in it so let's go and so we've done this one that uh proud spire manor so let's go and have a look at the bastion one and then i'll have a look at the rest of the furnishings whoa whoa whoa, whoa. i just realized as well this looks so weird without my adult whoa okay i am where is the oh this is wow this place is freaking sick that oh my god just like that looking out from the outside this looks like something from like harry potter or hogwarts or like lord of the rings or something oh my this is stunning vampire lord your heart out what is that though is that a glitch that's so totally a glitch because that does not look that looks like yeah, that's got to be a glitch. Can I run through that? No. Okay, I'm pretty... I hope that that is fixed. <laughs> Why is that floating? Okay, I honestly think that I'm missing something throughout this thing. Because that does not look... It looks so nice. But it also doesn't look nice. Okay, 
So let's have a look over here because I think that that's something is glitching and missing there. Which, because there's flowing. Oh, I love places that have water as well. Okay, let's have a look at this place uh, furnished. I tell you what, we're just going to buy it furnished. Right. Um, okay. Right, it's still very glitchy back here. Uh, expert decorator. Okay, so what about this one? This one should be different to the other. Okay, yeah, so this one is 700 and then, yeah, so this is one of the bigger houses. So, we have that brazier, brazier. <laughs> we have this, which is super cute. Um, chandeliers. Oh, I quite like those. Enchanted lights is something that I always like. Unfortunately, there isn't any, which I feel like is a, uh, I feel like it's a sort of missed opportunity, especially with those like mushrooms. Um, unless they're actually, there is some of them, but oh, that's cute. Uh, but they're actually in like the plant section. Oh, I like that. That's very nice. Um, and then we have some more like, like street lamps. Okay, so these things are quite nice as well. Got some new ones of these. Uh, Miss, yeah, this is that thing that I was on about that you have. So environment, we have no more environmental things. What the heck is that? <laughs> we have an egg apparently. Uh, tapestries. Oh, we have a few. Whoa, that's huge. Okay, so we have a few like vampire curtain type things, knickknack stuff. That's cute. I like this kind of stuff. Oh, it's like a little, it's like a little game. That's awesome. Uh, carpets? Do we have? We should have. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Not really a fan of those, but these ones I actually do quite like. I quite like uh, those ones. Those little new rugs. Couches. We don't seem to have any more tapestries. No tapestries? Okay. Um, tea tables? None. And faces? None. So, uh, building? Really none? Oh, that's a cute fire. That's not part of it. <laughs> um, oh, this is adorable. I need that. I wonder how much that is without crowns. And I, Sorry, I'm like shopping for my house that I have like nothing for <laughs> at the moment. Um, okay, so we have uh, some fences. They're quite nice if you wanted to make like a little pen, I guess, for your animals and stuff. We just got the plain planks. Um, no more tents. Okay, the sweet stuff. I hope that there's new beds. There should be. Okay, yes. So we have... Okay, that one doesn't look too bad. That one looks kind of comfy, to be honest. That one doesn't look very comfy. Um, oh my god, I love that one. The one thing with the beds, though, the ones with the, uh, whatever they're called, the roofs on them, you can't, like, get in them. Not that, like, you can get in the beds, like, properly anyway, but with the ones that are kind of like this, at least you can, like, you can jump on them and you can do, like, the lay down emote or, like, sleep emote, and it kind of makes... A little bit of sense. Uh, so we have that vampire bed, this one, and this one. I quite like this one, to be honest. But I do kind of like that one as well. So there is a couple more beds. Dividers? Oh, I really do like that one. That's the only divider we have. New? Okay. Dresses. Okay, so we have uh, some new dresses. And we have one vampire one. I feel like the vampire stuff is very kind of crisp and clean cut, kind of. Um, oh, these mirrors are so nice. Okay, so we've got like another big broken mirror. Oh, the vampire mirror is super nice. Yeah, okay, I like those. Nightstands. So we have a few more nightstands as well. Do we not have any vampire ones? Just solitude ones. Okay. Pillows? No. No new pillows at all. What about trunks? Okay, so we have a couple of new trunks. I like that one. That's quite rustic. I really like that. And we have vampire ones of those as well. Oh, that one's cool. 
And then wardrobe, wall, wardrobes, wardrobes, we have this fancy one. The vampire stuff, it kind of, I don't know if it's the right stuff. It's either the Halalu or Telvani. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's one or the other. But for me, it feels like a cross between that and Breton. A little bit. Um, okay, so basins, none. Okay, graves. Okay, so the incense, we have two new incense things, which is cool. Um, I'm so sorry for the dogs barking. So, so sorry. Um, oh, new life stuff. Yeah, I don't look in here very much. I like miss all of this torture. <laughs> they actually have a torture category. Um, okay, yeah, so there's nothing else in there. Urns. I mean, I'm surprised that they don't have anything else in the urn category. Um, I guess not really vampires do urns. Okay, so they have logs. Definitely Skyrim. Um, esque. So, and uh, nothing in the pipes in the two, oh, stools category. Okay, so it's in the stools category. Uh, but let me just, you can't physically, like, that's a stool, yeah? This one is a stool, yeah? You can sit on that one, I guarantee you, wait, well, can you? Can you? Um, workshop stools. Or can you not even sit on that one? Okay, let me, um, but then you think of, like, this rough, this stool here. And you see it's got, like, the yellow around it and now it's green. You can sit on this one. Unless that is more like a foot, foot, uh, a foot stool. But this I don't get. Like, why is it in the stool category but you can't sit on it? You lost points. You lost points there. I don't like that. That's really really bizarre um but there is those three new chairs that you cannot use cannot sit on as uh, so you have like a little uh a little toolkit like sewing kit type thing and just some just some like tall little kind of miscellaneous pieces so did i look through all of these i'm pretty sure i did so it doesn't actually look like they have anything that uh, unless it'd be in giant trees no would it be i mean surely if they had any it would be in the mushroom category uh, but there's only this okay i'm very disappointed unless i'm just completely overlooking it and i can't see it anywhere i am very disappointed that they don't have any mushroom like trees or whatever that look like those though those <laughs> that look like them and i'm also very very disappointed that we can't sit in these chairs the only other thing that i'm a bit weirded out about is how glitchy this is back here so I don't quite know how this back here is supposed to look as I feel like it's not it's not how that's not how it's supposed to look okay so well there's a lot of people here a lot of people here um oh I love it already it just reminds me of the beginning of Skyrim and I'm freaking digging it oh I'm freaking loving it okay Friend. Okay, I don't want to know, I don't want to listen, I don't want to listen, I don't want to listen, I don't want to listen too much, don't want to listen too much. Um, yeah, so, I am not, um, okay, I am not going to be doing any of the quests, wow, it looks so nice. I'm not going to be doing any of the quests or anything until it's actually out, um, just... I don't know, I probably won't even go on this again until the game like until the game until the chapter is actually like fully out in the game so we are here so this looks like a city and then uh, that looks like maybe like another small city so normally okay so it seems like there's only one one like proper city and then western skyrim oh wait 
so okay so there's that and then there's this area that we can click on unless this is a city okay so that must be kind of like the underground city area it doesn't actually look like as what is this graymore caverns okay yeah it doesn't actually look like a super huge super huge map but at the same time like you look at elsewhere and you look at the size of somerset it's probably about uh, the same size, so I'm not going to complain too much. So there is a new trial. Um, I don't know when or what I will do that. I will probably just be with like a random group or something like that. Uh, one thing I will do quickly is have a look in the notifications. Um, so we got those. So I got the little bat pet and I got... The, wait what is this I got this what new costume did I get okay so we got this costume I guess that's kind of cute that's kind of cool um what else did we get body markings I don't think you guys will be able to see this no you won't be able to see that uh, let me put on a different costume so that you can uh, see the body markings if it actually shows. Wait, what? Did it not show? Body markings. Where are we? Oh, that one is what I got. Okay, so that's what it looks like. That's pretty cool. Uh, I quite like that. And then what else do we have? This one. Got like a little crown. And then head markings. We got that, which obviously just matches the body markings. And then the pet we got was this little uh, bat and then we also got this little pocket elephant which is super super cute so I'm guessing that I will get the pocket elephant when I when like it actually comes out blah 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 this area just it's it's a million percent Skyrim I just I'm freaking digging it this is literally just it it's so so cool i can't remember the place in skyrim i think it's river rivenwood i don't know i can't remember it's been so so freaking long since i've played skyrim but the first kind of little area you go to um where you can get the uh where you can get one of your followers and you have to like give i think it's a love letter or a love note um to somebody or something or the other I can't remember exactly anyway that's how you can get like a follower like as soon as possible uh, he uses a bow but anyway yeah that's what this area reminds me of um, so it's oh it's so nice it's literally so nice so that's an enemy up there a uh, reach vanquisher I wonder what other kind of okay so we have bristleback great um yeah i don't know i'm just super excited to play this oh look i completely forgot as well solitude i forgot how cool this place looked so yeah it's actually solitude the place um wait what is this oh that actually goes into solitude okay yeah so um yeah I don't know what I'm doing. I really, really don't know what I'm doing. Let's just have, before I end uh, this video off, it's kind of been a little bit all over the place, so I apologize for that. I'm just kind of super stoked. I'm just really excited for this. It's just bringing back when I played Skyrim and so much stuff. Um, so, yeah, before I leave this off, oh my god, somebody's been on a killing spree already. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Oh, it truly is like a little village. Oh, I freaking love it. Did okay, so we have. They finally freed Fort Morvenskar from Vilgor Orkthane's troops. I have yeah, a unique a opportunity have for no scholastic research. Okay, so I don't know if it is the case, but it looks like as well we have three daily job brokers. Um, I think some places. I think, yeah. Okay, maybe three is normal. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, Solitude looks freaking amazing. Oh, I love this area. Oh, I'm actually genuinely in love with this. What is this? 
fighters guild so we have a quick look have a quick look inside the fighters guild okay no fighters guild was probably the wrong place to take a little gander um wait there is another house over there oh i wonder where the crafting zone is actually okay so crafting area is down there normally it's good to find uh, where the craft oh i know this this will be where the guild traders are okay that's cool um yeah let's have a look down here. oh and these are the equipment uh crafting so we have the food over here we have clothing here uh blacksmithing jewelry woodworking and we have the dye station in there so everything is pretty much here this will probably actually be the best place maybe now to come and do daily crafts as long as the drop off point isn't too far away so the bank is there i'm interested actually in this oh it's just the little sweet place that you normally get inside inns um yeah okay so i am curious as to how to get down here i can't seem to get back to that house uh which kind of sucks but at the same time it's not really a big deal it probably won't be a house that i actually get but just by a quick like look of it even though it kind of glitched out for me um definitely uh definitely looks really really cool and i think that it will appeal to a lot of people especially if they're more into like the darker side of the whole stuff i guess um one quick thing that i want to go and have a look at is the achievement furnishings and stuff like that that obviously you get achievements and then you'll be able to get a furnish so this is the home goods furniture so the logs are available in here which is nice this plant cluster is actually very nice uh fallen log is new as well i think that this fern is new okay so we get oh that's so cute and we can get that shrub so you don't have to get that shrub from the uh oh what's it called you don't have to get that shrub from the crown store neither do you have to get these gates that's super super cool uh so we have some new trees i like those um okay so those ones are actually available just by like the normal uh furniture then where is my favorite one the achievement furniture right oh my frick king god I love this. This is adorable. Require Western Skyrim Cave Delver achievement. Oh my god, that's going to be one of the ones that I go for first. That is so freaking adorable. I love that. Uh, so we just have a banner. We have a little um, ice guy. Some more banners. Stinky cheese. Mammoth cheese. Pungent. Okay, so we need the map. Uh, lots of banners for this one. A little... Nord basket trap for fishing. Boat for fishing. Are you kidding? Okay. Oh, okay. So this boat seems to be for the trial. And there was me being like, I swear, if this boat is easier to get than the fishing achievement boat, I'm giving up on the fishing. Uh, okay, the throne doesn't appeal to me whatsoever. Huh. Okay, so the only thing out with the achievement pieces that actually really appeal to me is not even really this, unless I want to stick it in the necromancer's face. The boat definitely appeals to me, the map does, and this doll. That's it. That's it from the achievement furniture. Uh, what more appeals to me is the stuff that just the general home goods person has. Wait, what is- Oh, the antiquities! I completely forgot about- well, I did actually mention it, but- um, so the hidden treasures, I don't know at all how this works. I really, really don't know how it works because I haven't looked into it or anything like that. Uh, but you find treasures or something and sometimes they're like furnishing items. I think some of them you can sell for gold and some of them are like, uh, armor set pieces or something or the other, like different. So we have... Um, it requires idle collectible at the skill line acquired in solitude. Okay, so it's a new, it's a completely new skill line, kind of like jewelry crafting and the Sigic 
uh, skills and stuff like that. Um, so we have the AD zone, we have Daggerfall zone, Ebonheart, and then we have Skyrim zone, which is awesome. And then we have DLC area zones. Wow, so you've got Crockwood City, Elsewhere, uh, Gold Coast, Hughesbane, Merkmire, uh, Orsinium, Elsewhere, oh, Southern Elsewhere, Somerset, and Vardenfall. Somerset has more than like everywhere else. <laughs> Somerset is the favourite. Uh, and then we have Cold Harbour, Cragorn, and oh, there's even that one. Okay, so that's cool. Um, so achievements. Um, Grey more. So these are the achievements. So there's a lot of s more styling. Uh, so we've got Orc style, Nord style, Ancestral Nord style. Uh, okay, so there's a lot of Ancestral, Blackreach, uh, Vanguard, Icereach, Coven. Okay, um, oh yes, I do like the ones that come with dyes as well. Blackreach Blue, uh, Fishing. Okay, so you, there is an achievement thing for the Antiquities. Marble white. Oh, I bet that's a nice colour. I bet that's a nice shade or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I can't see on here the thing for the boat, but it's one of those. I have a feeling that it's maybe vet. Let me just quickly have a look. I'm too intrigued now to just <laughs> to just let it slide. Um. Okay, so what was it? What did you need? Uh, okay, so it was the Conqueror one. Oh, okay, yeah. So you have to do the trial in there. Honestly, I've only ever managed to do one or two trials in vet, I think. Um, okay, yeah. Anyway, right, I'm going to leave off this video now. We are in solitude. Um, yeah, I cannot wait for this. I'm definitely not really going to be playing this well i'm not i'm definitely not going to be playing the pts at all after this video i'm just going to wait until it all comes out and just explore it all and stuff like that and yeah just get a good uh look around when it's actually all in i apologize for the whole house uh thing i do think that something was going on i don't i think it kind of glitched but I don't really know, um, I don't really know what went wrong with it or anything like that. So I'm sorry I couldn't show you that house properly, uh, but it's not long now really until this is out if it's Remember what you guys are interested cautious. in. So, yeah. She speaks really loud. Oh, th so this is how you learn it. Is this how you learn it? Okay. I think that maybe is how you learn the whole excavation thing. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching this episode. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to the new series because I will definitely be doing a series on this. Um... I look forward to actually seeing the public dungeons when um, when I can find them. You can see like all ice over there in the boat. That looks so, 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 so nice. And I'm super excited to explore some more of this when it is finally out. So just thank you guys so, so much for watching. I apologise if this is quite a long video. I also apologise if, if it's kind of all over the place. I'm kind of just excited and everything like that. But yeah, thank you all so, so much. Hit the like button, leave comments down below. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.